Hey guys, welcome to uh, the uh, next episode. <laughs> I've uh, made some changes to the house. Uh, put these paintings in. Uh, this one's a spider on LSD. That's a, a salad wrap. Um, that's a mutant ninja turtle uh, doing something. That's a polar bear contemplating his life uh, as the receding ice lakes. Uh, disappear. Uh, this is a, I don't know, the hand of God versus Bruce Lee. Uh, this guy is uh, seeing what these guys are doing and they're not doing much. That's, that's, that was like Jesus and the, uh, the last bat bath. Uh, didn't think they painted that, but they did. Okay. What do we got today? Oh well, last time we did a pulverizer and powered furnace so we could uh, increase the speed of uh, uh, operations and also to increase the uh, amount of ore we get. Um, last time I said that the pulverizer takes one piece of ore and gives you two pieces of dust. And let's go check out what that's given us practically. There's, there's a 60 stack of iron, another iron stack, another iron stack. Four iron stacks, and that was just from uh, a little bit of mining. So essentially, we only had half that in actual ore. So that's worked out pretty well. But unfortunately, there's only one stowing engine downstairs powering all this, and it's not exactly that great. So I thought we start building uh, some hobbyist steam engines, which uh, give a little bit more power, and they're a little bit more efficient. So it's just a uh, but first, they run on uh, just the same thing as steam, I mean, as the stirring engines, but they do require water as well, so we're going to sort out the water problem first. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to build a uh, uh, aqueous accumulator, which is a great uh, block, it just basically generates uh, water from being next to water. So we've got this uh, water in all the parts, so let's go and build it. Okay, so it should be two glass, a machine frame, so it's a thermal expansion machine, which you can tell because it's uh, got a machine frame, um, two tin at the bottom, a pneumatic servo, and an empty bucket, and we'll get this aqueous accumulator. Um, so let's just run downstairs, which uh, I've explained that a little bit more. Uh, over there is for the Nexo, so we're going to put a uh, automatic tree farm so we can uh, basically harvest it and then generate uh, charcoal to power all these engines automatically so we don't have to worry about getting the, the fuel for these engines. Carved out a little uh, area under here. Uh, let's go put the buckets of water. Like I said this uh, machine needs uh, water next to it so uh, let's see let's just uh, make a little uh, I'm wondering, will I make a, uh, okay, let's go there, oh, one, there we go, and there, and now we've got a infinite bucket source, so let's just uh, punch a hole out here so I can get out, uh, then you put that back, and I'm going to put that And we're gonna put a grab that awesome. Put that there so we can put the machine near the side. As you can see, it's uh, generally a little bit of water, but it's only because it, there's only water touching the bottom of it. So let's just grab that. We're not gonna grab that, are we? Yes, we are. Okay, grab some of this water. Uh, really shouldn't have done that. There we go. Get out of here again. <laughs> okay, chuck that bucket there. Now, hook inside. Full of water, 
be pumping out water quite fast. Uh, I've got some stone waterproof pipes. I'm just going to run them under where I want the engines to go. About roughly there. And as you can see, it's a generating water out of practically nothing. It's a lot better at pumping uh, water out of a uh, infinite water source because sometimes uh, infinite water sources can uh, glitch out and then then you stop getting water. And if you've got machines that require water to run, then they're going to stop or explode in some cases. So let's go up here. Chuck the buckets back. Uh, grab these. Um, grab them. We need them too. Okay. Basically, these engines are three nuggets on the top. Uh, pissing down the bottom. So it's similar like the uh, similar like the other engines. Like that. Nice. Like that. We run downstairs to put them in. Okay. Put the wooden conductive uh, piping in so we can generate grab power from them. Now we need to change the angle of that one. Uh, so let's see if we can go about making a hammer. Uh, not a hammer. Present wrench, that's what we need. Iron, silver, iron. Too easy. Do I have silver? Let's hope so. Okay, so uh, let's grab the three iron anyway. Three iron, pulverized tin, ferrous, pulverized plastic. No, I don't think I've got silver. I don't have silver. Yeah. I'll go and get some silver and be right back to you guys. Okay guys, I'm back and I finally got my silver. Put it in the pulverizer. Put a little bit more out. Now it's to burn it up. Put that one in, chuck that in. As you can see, this is much quicker than a uh, ordinary furnace. Put the power on so it doesn't run out of power. Halfway through. Ding ding ding. That's right, I know what you're thinking. Musical skills. That's right, I've got none. Alright, now we've got our ingots, we can make this wrench, we can fix what happens downstairs. That that that. Now we've got a crescent wrench. A uh, crescent hammer. Uh, a little bit different. Okay. And the uh, let's play was going so well. Okay, there we go. Now we've got the engine space in the right direction. You can see how this uh, the red that we had before is now <coughs> connected up to them. And you can see they've got water water drawing into them. Let's go get some fuel for them. Should have had fuel before. Is it this one? Oh, there's some there. This one. No, is it this one? Ah, that's it. We also want to grab this too. For some later on. Just one moment, I'll show it to you. And we've got a chucker. As you can see here, it says it produces 1.6 megajoules a tick, up to 4,000 ticks. So, do your calculations. That's 4,000 times 1.6. That's the total amount of megajoules that we'll get out of one piece of charcoal. If we go to this stirring engine, which has uh, coal in it, but let's say for charcoal, it's one megajoule per tick for 6,000 ticks. So you can see it's clearly more efficient. So let's just uh, half that in there. Put that one in there. The thing about the steam engines is one, they need water, and two, they only become efficient after they heat up. So you really don't want to turn them off. But later on, we'll put the machine, um, the tree farm in, and they'll stay on constantly.
As you can see, the, they, um, they don't take long until they start building up steam. They do produce a tiny bit of power to begin with, and then they get better, bigger and bigger. As you can see, they've already started working. And, yeah, I think that's about it for now. Well, let's go uh, check out what I want to show you right before. Uh, currently, we've got these wooden chests, which uh, aren't that big. And, unfortunately, you can't place them right next to one another. So, what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade our ore chest into a iron chest. It's pretty nifty. You get uh, eight pieces of iron, one piece of wooden plank, and you get this uh, normal chest to iron chest upgrade. What you have to do is go over to the chest you want. It works on a um, twin chest, except it'll only do it on one side of it. So if we do it like that, see how we've got a, an iron chest sitting right next to a chest, but it's separated. But this one has the same amount of space as a double sized one. And if we go look up uh, upgrades, uh, chest upgrade, we've got all these iron to gold, gold to diamond, and so forth and so forth. Each one, well, most of them, increase how much a chest can carry up to the point where you get obsidian, which is uh, basically a, a massive chest except it's blast resistant. Crystal chest, not so blast resistant, however. You can you can see quite a few of the items inside the chest without opening it. I think that's about it for the time being. Uh, actually, since we've got this extra power going on, we'll uh, open up. So we'll get some ore, we'll get some ferrous ore. Chuck it into the pulverizer. As you can see, it's working at full speed, and it's being basically it's being charged as fast as the power is going out. So mission ex. Uh, accomplished as George Bush would say um, so I think until next time uh, this is the end of it uh, please comment like subscribe all that stuff helps me plus it lets me know what you guys want to see um, and basically helps me figure out where this let's play or other videos I do go so um, thanks for watching guys um, until next time uh, nah.